Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Here's the first video update on my build off with Errorful Error. In case you don't recall, we're each customizing our own high grade Zegok and relying on you, dear viewer, to tell us whose Gunpla shall reign supreme. So before I dive into techniques, I want to share a bit about the lore of this particular mobile suit. As you know, I don't often build customs that don't have a backstory. In this case, meet Xeon pilot Lissa Neuer, survivor of the Battle of Jaburo and just two kills away from achieving ace pilot status. She was never a particularly good marksman and was thrilled when Zimad introduced their line of marine mobile suits with a heavy focus on melee combat. She's tough but prone to irrational emotional outbursts, and her own Zigok was partially destroyed in the Battle of Jaburo. But she and other surviving members of her unit cobbled together a new mobile suit using salvage from the jungle. Neuer attributed her failure to Zigok's lack of dexterity and incorporated that into this new design. She would pilot this Zigok and try to reach the Arctic in order to assist the Cyclops team in destroying the prototype Gundam Alex, but she never arrived at the rendezvous point and was presumed dead. On to my build, which uses several techniques I've never tried in Gunpla before. First, to improve the Zigok's reach, I used resin casting to create more arm segments, effectively doubling the length of its arms. I also dug into my stash of Gunpla parts to find some master grade hands that I wanted to fit this kit with. Neuer would want these oversized hands in order to grapple enemies more effectively. Additionally, I went with a blue-gray-black color scheme because she would have wanted to be more camouflaged in the Arctic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These were the only paints I had on hand and I'm lazy so I cooked up a lore reason to go with this scheme, but I haven't quite settled on how to do the color separation just yet. What I'm really excited about are the little gimmicks I'm playing with. I took the magnetic mono-eye idea from YouTuber Action Playtop. I'll put a link to his video in the description. I expanded upon it with my own idea to use blacklight neon paint to create a light effect on the mono-eye, and I plan to use this on several parts of the kit to create lights all over for underwater identification, much like you'd see on aircraft to make them more visible at night and prevent collisions with friendly mobile suits while underwater. Well, that is it for now. I'll turn it over to Tony, who will share a bit about his build. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Everful Ever. You can find me, um, just look up Everful Ever. And yeah, I'm here making a build off with the Mad Hatter. Um, we're gonna customize the Zegok to the fullest. Um, you guys may not know me, so I placed some of my old past, um, Gunpla in the background, like a little montage. Hope you guys enjoy it and Hopefully you guys learn something or enjoy this. All right, let's let's get it started. This is the Zegok that me and the Mad Hatter did in the live stream, and this is it after I removed the the nubs and gave it a light sanding. It's pretty much ready to be worked on. But before I start working on it, I have a visceral where I take a plastic bin, a uh, see-through plastic bin, and I cut off the box art of the kit that I'm working on and I glue it to the side of it that way um, I'll keep everything organized and I know what project I'm looking at at a glance this is my plan for the Zgog I like the Zgog because it is a powerful mobile suit it's able to use beam weaponry and um, it's pretty top tier for the universal sensory line and it doesn't get a lot of love I really do like the design of it but for my custom, I want to move away from its uh, water based ability. I want to keep it, but I want it to be super mobile online. So I want to give it the flight type proof um, legs so it'll be able to fly or at least skid around like a doof uh, dom. There you go. And for the big area on top of the head where the missiles are, are located. I want to add some kind of emblem, but uh, I don't want to use water slide or decals for it. I want to use a rub on uh, tattoo. I used it in the past and I think it'll look pretty cool because there's a lot more um, designs that you get for rub on tattoos than decals. I also want to remove one of his arms to give it a regular Zaku arm so it could use the four barrel machine gun that the Art Zaku has. I really like that design. And I want to give it the Art Zaku's backpack as well. This is a really cool backpack. And I want to give it a 
type of cape um i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do it or how it's gonna look but yeah i want to give her a cape so i want it to be super camouflage but in the end i probably not painted in camouflage colors because uh, flashy colors just look cool but yeah um tattoo on the top of the head uh the cape the uh, regular zaku arm the four gallon machine gun and the uh, and the legs the flight type legs so those are my plans for this mobile suit so yeah let's go these are the pieces i'm going to use to create my um, custom they're pretty much leftover pieces from old high grades and master grades this is what i have so far i'm using all these assortments of parts um i have found a old dom so i'm gonna use it to build off of but um to connect it to the leg it loses a lot of mobility so i'm gonna have to heavily customize the knee for it I'm going to use straight up the old Dom's hand um, because it works perfectly and I really like how the silhouette of the gun ends up looking with these um, parts. I just have the perfect parts uh, to make that work. If you're interested to know what pieces I use, I use a um, Gundam Seed beam rifle, some kind of ammo pack, uh, the Exacto Blade casing for the refillables. And the Gatling um, barrels, they're pretty much uh, Dragon Gundam's flag dispenser. Yeah, it sounds silly, but that's what it is. And for the waist, I want it to look like the engine got um, heavily modified with a bigger engine to give energy to the backpack. So this is what I came up with. And I want to give it some kind of Zaku cables getting into the backpack. The leg is going to be one part that's heavily modified. I found this piece from a Master Grade Zeta Gundam and I'm going to use it as an intake and I'm going to use this um, Gundam Wings backpack. The silhouette fits perfectly what I want and I'm going to use those vents. They're too big but I may change them out. And there's another piece I got from the Zeta. I may use it or may not use it. Maybe a little bit overkill. Now for the back, I'm not sure how I'm going to connect these cables to the backpack. But I like this silhouette for the backpack. Um, I like the Ak Zaku's backpack and I wanted to give it a little bit more of a high take prototype look to it. I'm planning to put uh, the one big thruster and a couple of small thrusters underneath it. And yeah. And for the cape, I may drill some hoses to make some kind of connection on top of the vent intakes. Now for a quick side comparison. For a mobile suit that's supposed to be sleek and stealthy, it's going to be really big. Uh, compared to the Zaku, he's, it's huge. Um, the only problem I could see that I'm going to have is the knee. When I connect it to the Dom's knee, it loses all mobility and I want to keep that mobility. So I may have to custom make a new knee to keep the mobility and keep the connection to the Dom's leg. All right, peace, guys. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you later.